Welcome to your course on service innovation. My name is Michael Sermuon and I will be your instructor this semester. In this course, we are going to discuss and operate on services which are seen as the gaps between products that we offer to our clients. Services are all around us. They range from really small services, such as renewing your driver's license, to large services, such as moving your house, that consist of a composition of services that are sometimes offered by different organizations or different parts of the same organization. Changing your retirement benefit withholdings, um, up onboarding a client, offering a loan to an applicant, uh, reviewing a uh, pharmaceutical for FDA approval, all of these things can be seen as services and all of these things should be designed. Now, many of the services that we consume today have been designed in an age where paper and the telephone were prevalent, and they may have been ported onto services such as the internet or even apps on phones, but they don't always work in a seamless way, or they have not been thought through like native services that have been designed on these platforms from the get-go. So we're going to tackle this through a number of different steps in this course. We are going to use a book called Good Services by Lou Down. Uh, Luis is the chief architect of services in the UK government. Um, and there are some great examples in here on what to do in order to make sure that your services are really well understood uh, and that they operate in a manner that is expected of your users, whether they are internal to your organization or external to the organization. The second component that we're going to use, more on the organizational side, are case studies from Harvard, MIT, and other schools. I will be putting together a case pack on the Harvard Business School Press site that you can purchase there and download. This case pack will contain all the cases we're going to discuss in this course. I will announce for each week which cases we're going to go through and I will ask you to prepare these cases ahead of time. That's going to be one of the major components of your homework, if you will. The third component in this course is hands-on. We need to understand how to represent the underpinnings of services, whether they are processes, decisions, rules, uh, customer journeys, or uh, service blueprints. So we're going to work through various techniques, how to represent these things in an electronic form, and talk about how information technology can absorb these representations and implement them. For this, all you will need is a browser because all the tools we're going to use to model services are web-based. We're going to use an academic platform, so you don't have to install anything on your computers, on your laptops, if you don't want to. I look forward to working with you and to seeing you virtually via Zoom. I will set up Zoom sessions for every week and there will be office sessions outside of the classroom as well so that every week you will have an opportunity to interact with me uh, even outside of the classrooms. Now, the classes run from 5.15 to 8.15, that's a three hour block, um, but you've probably had 47 million Zoom meetings by this point, so we're going to break this up a little bit. Uh, so in every class I hope to do a case study, at least one, sometimes two, uh, a part of the book, and something hands-on in terms of method. And hopefully this is going to keep this class engaging and interesting for you. I hope you can take something away for your daily work from this class, something that maybe challenges your thinking and something that may influence your view of the world going forward. I look forward to working with you.